everyone, and welcome back to Tip Tuesday here at Sash Fabrics. Jessica here, and today we're going to be talking about the different methods that you can pin or hold your fabric together for sewing. So we have three different methods that I'm going to talk about today. The first is your traditional sewing pin, but not quite traditional. We'll talk about that. The second, which are very, very popular right now, are Wonder Clips. You can get generic brands of these that work just as well. I have the gen the name brand Wonder Clips here today. And then the last option is Elmer's Glue Sticks. I happen to prefer the disappearing purple, but you can absolutely just use plain white. For today's example, I am using the Sticky Kitty Coordinate. I'm making my daughter a outfit for Christmas, so this is going to become a headband. So I need to fold this in half. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be sewing along this long length here. If you want to learn how to make one of these headbands, be sure to check out our tutorial for the child faux twist headband. I'll link it down in the description box. Um, it's a really easy, quick sew. But so we're going to sew up the side here. So the first one I'm going to start with is the glue stick. So the benefits to glue sticks is you don't have anything to unpin after you get it together. Um, you do, con is that you do have to let it dry. As I said, I prefer this purple glue because when you put the glue on, you're only going to put it in the seam allowance. Um, it could potentially get your machine sticky. So you don't want to do it too far in where it's going to be sticky or, you know, leave residue on the finished product. So I'm just very gently putting it in the seam allowance. Now this would work best if it was something that you were going to be preparing ahead of time. So then I'm just going to put it together and press. Now you're going to want to let it dry for a little bit before you sew it. So like I said, this is going to be something you're going to want a production run type deal, but you can see it holds together even wet. Okay. So that's a good way to go. If you have a lot of fabric slippage issues and you want to keep knit fabrics together good. Okay, so first let's talk about our traditional pins. So when I say that these aren't quite your traditional pins, what I mean is the pins that we all grew up with and our grandmothers used are the short little one inch pins with the flat ball, flat end, not even a ball end. These are one and a half inch pins and they have this big ball on the end. This is going to save your finger so much pain and headache. So these are very easy to use. They can get hardy on the fingers if you're doing them a long time but they just go in and through. Everyone has their own pinning techniques. I like to pin this way because then as I sew, I can go right up to the pin and then pull the pin out before I run over it. Um, so whereas with the glue, you don't have anything to pull out. The pins, you do have to pull them out, but you don't have to worry about glue residue, so that's nice. So some people, when they pin in their seam allowance, they'll pin this way, and then as they're sewing, they'll be able to pull it out this way. So that is also another option. This is just my preferred. Okay, and now we're gonna do the Wonder Clips. I have to flip it this way to be able to use them in my hand. So the only thing I do not like about the Wonder Clips is that they can be a little bit tight. Um, I haven't used mine a ton, so I don't know if they loosen up with use, but they are great for long straightaways or things that you need to quick pin together, like after this headband is sewn together when I'm attaching the ends together, these would work really, really well. And But they're very easy to use. So you just have to be able to pinch them and put them on. Um, I know when I'm sewing with my mama, she does not like these ones because they're a little bit too hard on her hands to squeeze. So we do a lot of pinning instead just because it's a little easier for her to do. But there you go. You have three different ways to pin or hold your fabric together to be able to sew it. So I hope you guys found this useful. I would love to know if you guys have any suggestions, any requests for Tip Tuesdays. Um, so just let us know down in the comments below and have a great afternoon.